I'm Melinda Bam. This is say 2011. Gosh, I actually can't believe it's been that long. Um, yeah, it's really been one of the most life-changing experiences uh, becoming a South African at the dawn of 2020, starting and the entries just about to close. Um, I think there's quite a bit of advice that um, our formers can actually give. Um, just because we've gone through the paces and we, we know what the year feels like and not just the idea of what you think Miss Essay should be like. Um, my first little bit of advice is not to enter Miss Essay if you want to be famous. There are plenty of girls strutting their stuff on TikTok who are also famous. Miss Essay is a platform where you feel like you have a mandate to do something with a platform that you've been given. Um, it's not to go to fancy events, although that's one of the perks. It's not to um, wear amazing designer dresses or even just to compete internationally. It is to have a voice um, that's actually meaningful, um, where you can represent either a small um, group in our community or whether it is um, voicing a particular cause, um, gathering people and mobilizing people behind something that is a passion of yours, and to change something in the social landscape of South Africa that pushes us forward. Because that's ultimately what a Miss South Africa is supposed to do. It's supposed to be someone who walks in front as a beacon of hope that brings unity to nation. Um, so it's not about the fancy dress. And it's definitely not about just walking on a stage. Um, although all of those things are really, really fun. Um, another piece of advice that I can give is to try and be as authentic as possible. Um, I think in this industry, there are so many people who, who see someone that is well known and they think, oh, they need to emulate that. Or maybe they can do something that's going to kind of ring true to a Bonang or to a Rolene or to a Tamron or to a Demi or a Zozi. But what we're looking for is always someone that is authentic, that can show the incredible diversity that our nation has to offer and the different shapes and forms that beauty really comes in. And I think that's really important. The more authentic you are, the more of a breath of fresh air you'll be. There are so many pageant patties that will always enter. The girls that have their big files and their um, rehearsed answers. That's not what Miss Essay is about, is about because life is not a dress rehearsal. You have to think on your feet. You need to know what your opinion is about certain things. And you have to have fun because ultimately when you have this passion for what Miss Essay stands for, it rubs off on people who you trying to mobilize behind your cause and behind your voice. Um, I think this year where Miss Essay is all about owning your power and um, really uh, having your voice be heard, I, I think it's more important and more imperative than ever for it to be a strong woman. Um, it's not someone who is molded by society. It is someone who has a unique voice and really embodies everything that a South African woman is supposed to be. Yes, the fashion is important. Yes, looks are important, of course. It is a beauty pageant. But it's about realizing that your beauty has a purpose. Yes, and it sounds like the Miss World slogan, beauty with a purpose. But it couldn't be more true because your beauty or a talent isn't given to you just for the sake of having it and for the sake of showing it off. It's what you actually do with it. So yes, you have to be beautiful. You have to take care of yourself. You need to understand that this is a job interview and that it is something that is a grueling task ahead of you that you've signed up for. So once you actually get there, it needs your full commitment. This is not a platform where you can just decide to halfway kind of give up and kind of like just lay back and relax and try and soak it all in. There's no time for any of that. Once you hit the ground running, you don't stop running. And what is it? <laughs> Almost nine years later, you still don't stop running. Because if it's a passion, it's something that is um, a springboard for you to accelerate whatever your hopes and dreams are. So yes, it is about beauty. Don't do it if you want to be famous. Be authentic 
and yeah, bring something new to the table, something fresh, something you.